another tube for the next project. I'm going to put uh, some alum in this uh, big uh, 100 amp hour green uh, battery. It's uh, what is it? Oh, it's a extender 110 amp battery, and uh, I've been trying to desulfate it for a while, but uh, I did some runs on it. With Improved a little, but uh, not uh, very impressive yet. I can't get the voltage uh, above 12.5, so uh, I just charged it again. Not completely, but so it's halfway charged, and as you can see now, it's going back from over 13, and it will probably return to. Uh, to 12.4 or something so I'm uh, going to empty uh, this thing so I have to remove all these uh, things on here and I have to get the asset out of there uh, that's not a nice job to do and therefore I have this big bag here it's big bucket uh, the, the battery will fit in there completely so I think I can reasonably safely empty it that way I hope and then I have some uh, soda to neutralize the acid and then I uh, have something else I have my washing dryer here and uh, it's fun because uh, there's always some water in there, and that's also demi water. This is the water I'm going to use into the battery. I have some of it here that I uh, took out from the wash dryer, but I'm going to use it to uh, clean the battery. So I think uh, because this water is maybe not super, so I bought some uh, demineralized water uh, to put in the battery, but this is just for, for cleaning it out, and uh, there will be more than enough purity for that so uh, okay let's start okay I bought me uh, some uh, demi water demineralized water I first tried it at one shop and uh, that was two euros which is one liter now I found one for 50 under 50 cents per liter so I'm going to use the original stuff. This is uh, my uh, Timco, which is actually alum, alum, whatever. This is a sort of salt. This is the stuff they use uh, for pickles. And stuff that uh, the dinghy is using. I bought this in Eastern Europe. So I'm going to put uh, something in here. I've, I've first I'll try this little bit and fill it up with water and then see how much I can dissolve when it's warm. Um, okay, I'm going to do that now. Okay, these uh, bags are uh, 100 grams. 100 grams of alum. And I just uh, put uh, 3 liters of water in here. And I will uh, put also uh, three sacks, so 300 uh, grams of this uh, Timso, which is, uh, I will get a magnifier to see what it says on the back. One second. Okay, so if I look at the magnifying glass, I can see it's uh, gallium aluminium sulfate and 99% uh, and it's a granulatum so it's a salt crystallized right water it's a lot hotter now and it seems to have dissolved one sack uh, the temperature is now 67 degrees celsius uh, now I'm going to put in another bag right just put another bag in here it's dissolving quite fast. Um, 
water is reasonably hot and you need that temperature otherwise it will take forever so what's my temperature here it's almost uh, still 60 66 degrees or something okay it's, it's dissolving in almost immediately so let's take another bag i do have two more bags so maybe i have to put in some more here. okay it goes back number three okay that's in there it's a bit milky now uh, seems to be dissolving just fine well, i do have some extra i uh, think because it, it should uh, take as much as possible i think everything that you can put into it i think it's, it's better maybe i'll, I'll get uh, the extra sex as well and put them in as well okay okay so i have put now four bags so 400 grams of the uh, alum uh, solution alum salt and uh, it's still seems to dissolve uh, quite good so uh, I think uh, I'm going for set number five okay so I have put the battery uh, into the bucket and I'm going to clean it out now and then uh, but I will not film this because uh, it will be messy and I will probably destroy my camera when I have acid on my hands well actually I have gloves of course and uh, glasses on but uh, I don't think my camera will like this. So I'll show right, it. I just way. cleaned it out twice. Uh, it is a glass fiber technique thing, so not everything is coming out of there, I think. So uh, I'm going to let it dry a little and then I'm going to fill it up with the alum. Okay. Cool this down. It's now almost 50 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put it back to the bottles again so it will be easier to fill the battery it's just, it's just a little of these salts that is left but uh, so I think it's uh, well everything that could be dissolved in there is, is, is dissolved so uh, that's good all right all right so here we go three liters of alum mix now I'm going to put it in the battery. So, okay. Funny thing is there's still 12.42 uh, in the battery. Uh, though it's empty. Well, not really. The glass fiber uh, technology is probably uh, keeping some acid there. Okay, so. Whoa. It's not perfect. It's still a bit warm. You can see the steam. I'm not going to put too much in there. I can not really see very well how much is in there. That's <laughs> funny, my voltage is dropping now. <coughs> so it seems to be uh, not so well. Yeah, really dropping. Well, I know it will work because I've done it before. But not on this big battery and not with this glass fiber technology. So there will be a lot of acid left in there. So this will probably react with the alien solution. Well, anyway, you get the drift. I'm not going to film everything. I'm just going to fill it up and then uh, let's see what uh, where we are testing the battery and so. Okay. All right. I uh, filled it up completely. Uh, took me one and a half liter to fill it up so it probably wasn't completely empty <laughs> but uh, well I don't know what normally goes in here but anyway uh, since I've, uh, I've put uh, the alum in there it's now dropping in voltage which is uh, fairly normal for an alum battery it will probably uh, get to uh, 12 uh, volts somewhere so it's still dropping. I'll just leave it standing here and see where where it stops. 
but uh, probably will deliver some current. Could test that. Right, so, so I have a big light uh, headlight of a car. Uh, it's pulling uh, probably something three or four amps. Now let's see if it can do that. Yes, it does. Very bright. Now immediately it's going down. But I must say, it was also going down when it was acid based. So it's not that bad, but uh, well, it's looking promising. It can deliver some real current. Okay, now let's see if it rebounds here. It's bouncing back to, well, 1210 or something. Okay. So I'm uh, just going to wait now and uh, then charge it and discharge it and uh, see where we are. Put the caps, uh, the caps back on and uh, this uh, bounced back to 12.24. Back up to 12.25 now. Well, maybe still going up. Okay. So that's it for now. I uh, do consider it a success so far. But uh, who knows where we go.